here with Hector Soler, gate schooling in the morning behind, uh, on the seven furlong shoot behind the gate. Uh, I have to ask, you have one of the most important jobs of the track. People don't realize every single race comes down to you as the starter. How did you get involved with this? How did you decide I want to become a horse starter? Well, like, uh, I have to tell uh, people before that I grew up around in farm. I grew up around horses, cows, and, and everything, and uh, we used to get on horses and to take the, the cows to pasture, and uh, that's how I uh, got involved in, in horses. Then I, my family was uh, horse racing fans. They used to watch it on TV. They used to listen to radio, and I was always listening. Uh, and I was interesting when I see the colors on TV and, and the gay schooling and that got my attention, you know, and my, uh, my father took me to the racetrack, El Comandante, back home in Puerto Rico. And uh, it got so much more interesting, you know, I see the colors and, and, and everything was so interesting. And uh, well, I was a minor. And I came to United States and I went to school and everything, but I always have that racetrack in me. And, and by coincidence, when we came to Philadelphia uh, for the very first time, my neighbors used to work at the racetrack at Philadelphia Park. And they invite me one day to feed the horses. And uh, <laughs> they got me in the trunk because I was a minor, I had no license, so they sneak me in the trunk and we went to feed these horses and I hear the, the bugler announcing the parade and uh, that was rare. So I woke out and it happened that we was right by the rail and I woke up, I went up the hill and I see the starting gate was parked at five full longs and we was right there. And uh, well, I heard the, the commotion inside the gate, horses rearing up and the yelling, the, the guys uh, doing their stuff. It was so, I, I say, I would like to be one of those guys someday, you know? So I started walking horses then. And then I became a groom with Joe Orsino. And then when we came to Belmont Racetrack, uh, there is a, a good friend of mine named uh, Frankie Delgado. Uh, he used to be a security officer and in the morning he used to ride horses for Joe Orsino. And he asked me if I ever wanted to work at the gate. I, I said, yeah, of course. So he introduced me to Bad Duncan. And that's how, you know, that's how I really started. He told me that he needed someone part-time and Whenever the guy gets sick or go on compensation or, you know, go on vacation, they needed a guy to fill in. And I did that for about a year and a half until I got the steady job. And I was the, the most happiest guy ever because I was doing something that I wanted to do since I was a little kid and then get to be part of the team and, and do it that was something so amazing and that's how i became to work at the starting gate and i've been here 23 years uh already so you mentioned team there and that's a very important thing tell me about the team and, and how it works with assistant starters and the head starter well the team is obviously that's the for the head starter the team is his main tool because without the team he, there is no, no starter or for example, uh, people see a head starter taking great start. It really because of the guy handling horses in there, you know, they are the one that do all the work actually. I might direct and I, uh, you know, tell guy what to do sometime when I feel that I, I want thing to do my way or when I see thing could be done better. I tell them I would like to do it this way or, but uh, those are the guys that pretty much uh, do everything there, you know? And I, I'm just as good, as good as the last start. But if people consider the head starter a good starter, 
is because of those guys uh, right here. Those are the guys that do everything for me. They are the guys that are in the starting gate getting kicked uh, and getting all the injuries. Like when I was uh, a, uh, a regular, uh, when I was a groom, I, I just had a, a bite here and there. When I start working at the, at the starting gate, I start getting dislocations in my shoulder twice, the right one, the left one, uh, ACL blown up, uh, shorter elbow, uh, kicking my hand, tear on my hip, and uh, you name it. Uh, but um, that never stopped me because it's, I mean, it's uh, the adrenaline, the adrenaline kick in, and uh, you know, this is what I, I, I don't. Uh, this is what I want to do into my last day. I wouldn't prefer to do anything else. I absolutely love your passion for it. So we're here in the morning. They're gate schooling right now. Can you tell us about why we gate school here at the track and what's the purpose? Well, this is, I think, this is the most important part of our job, school horses. Uh, because uh, sometimes we get horses from out of town. We don't really know them, but then they act up in the afternoon. So we take March and uh, we decide what to do with this horse in the, in, in the schooling section. This is where we correct all the problems with the horse. We look them to, to go in, we take our time into eventually we got them marching in. And uh, here we also find out about the horse's behavior and activity. And we work with that. We try to, to make them better. And, and if you see horses marching in in the afternoon and behaving and taking a nice start, is the result of the schooling in the morning. Last question for you, I have to ask, what was the top moment? What was the be the start that you did where you were the most proud of? Well, obviously uh, a few, a few. Uh, actually, to me, every start is very important. Uh, I am very passionate, and to me, the integrity of every start is, is number one. So doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's a claiming race, allowing race, or stake race. Every stay, uh, every start to me is so important. But obviously you have uh, some special events like the Belmont States. I I done the Belmont State twice. I done the Preakness one time, going for my second uh, time on the Preakness. Those are very important uh, starts to me. But uh, I don't think I have a, a, a special start, really. Uh, to me, uh, every start is it, it, just passion. You know, it, it's what I like to do. And uh, that's it. You know, I don't have really no special race. Well, thank you for your time this morning, Hector. One of the most important, if not the most important person here at Saratoga Racetrack. Every single race counts on him getting a clean start for his horses. We thank you and good luck with the rest of the meet. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Here with Mark heading back in uh, the backstretch of Saratoga Racetrack. We've got the Union Rags going. You have Mashney Girl. Can you tell us about, a little about how it's been training? She's doing well. Um, you know, we've been, uh, been running further, but this will cut back in distance. But um, you know, it seemed like the, the mile race did not go. It's back up for Sunday. Uh, but I think we'll probably go in the sprint and uh, see how she does. Anything going on this year? You know, it seems like some of those races have been filling. This is sort of a smaller field than we're more used to on the Union Rags. Anything you see in these uh, smaller stakes fields that we've had at the Saratoga meet so far? No, I mean, a lot of horses are in the same barn. So that, that kind of, you know, that shrinks the field size, obviously. But, uh, you know, it just think sometimes different divisions of different horses that that just comes up that way uh they, they always have trouble with the with the route races here um because they don't make enough route races during the during the year to, to build those horses out to that distance you know so I'd, I'd like to see them be able to get more horses to stretch out but they don't here in terms of your barn this year any two-year-olds that we should be looking forward to coming up um I ran a filly yesterday that I think will be all right in the long run. She was third, um, but uh, 
I'm not going to really name any others at the moment. Well, good luck in the stakes tomorrow. All right, thank you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Here, with, here with Philip Serpy back at uh, backstretch of the Saratoga racetrack. Um, you have a horse going in Union Rangs, Bank on Anna. Can you tell us how the horse has been training? Um, yeah, Bank on Anna's doing great. Um, she was, she did make one start here and unfortunately had kind of a rough trip. She broke kind of flat footed and then was, uh, was kind of pinched back um, going down the back stretch. So it, it really, it really kind of compromised her chances of winning that race. Um, she's doing well um, coming into the race tomorrow and uh, we look forward to a good effort from her. She's, she's been really consistent this year. Off that 60 day layoff between the last races, you ran her back here pretty quickly. Is that something normal for this horse? Well, no, and again, she had a trouble trip last time, and she's a pretty strong, durable filly. So, um, you know, we watch our horses closely. We run them when they're ready to run, and, um, you know, we think she's going to be just fine. Last question for you. You had a nice winner leave no trace earlier in the meet. Are we going to see the horses back this meet? Uh, absolutely. The plan is to run her back. Um, we're, we're just looking at our options right now, you know, possibly the last uh, the Philly stake um, here uh, the day before the meet ends, uh, the spin away. And, um, but um, we're going to get a couple of works in her and see how that goes. Thank you very much and good luck in the stakes tomorrow. All right, thank you.